Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? Damn. I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, of course. Are you married Not married. Right, Miss McFarlane? I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. My hat. Uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Here we are. America, 1911. Damn. 102 years ago. I gotta say, I, I love how real it looks. To think that this was our country 100 years ago. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Cause back then, nobody had fifteen dollars. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can I think so. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. So yeah, these first couple of parts are just to get us started. You know, get back on our feet. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I 
suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Duh. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarlane. You'll get them from me. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't fight. So you'll notice that the gameplay is very similar to Grand Theft Auto 4. Obviously, since they were both Rockstar games. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous Repeater time carbine. Night for us. For now, it's good, but halfway through the game, we won't be even using it. Honestly, the revolver that they give us is a piece of shit. Honestly, I don't, re I don't recommend you using it. We'll be substituting this gun out Keep in a second. Keep your eyes open, and try not to get yourself shot again. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. If you're trying to get me to hook up with you, think twice. Yeah, just make sure you have the rifle w welded and not the Look, those revolver. damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Easy now. Come on, then. Time to put that blood on. Here we go. Shoot him. What's next, pal? Damn, I need to move. Oh, where the hell am I going? It should have auto aim on. I gotta go back on my horse. God damn it! Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Oh, do we now? Come on! If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Look out! Coyotes! Shoot them before they get to the animals! Good shoot, Mr. Marston! Quick! They're going after the chickens! Yeah! up! Gives a chance to use our red dead meter. Shit, if I can aim right. Get a 
bit of you in there. That other one. Let's go. Trying to steal my rabbit, will ya? Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Oh no, those poor chickens. Never stood a chance. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Come on. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. So yeah. Same rules apply from Grand Theft Auto 4. Except now we got an ammo box. Awesome. So we can't can't do the mission now. What's different about? Eh, I guess it's not real different. I mean, you'll save a slot. It's not completely different from Grand Theft Auto. We sort of had this in Grand Theft Auto, but you can't do certain missions when it's not during the certain time of day. Oh shit. It's just unfortunately how it is. You gotta sleep sometimes. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. I'm you already know, in. You never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Challenge accepted. <laughs> 